Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new here I wanted to do just like a huge catch-up and also just show you all a bunch of things around the house You know feel of vlogs like moving things around getting new furniture all that So I'm excited to get into it I also wanted to say a huge thank you to factor for sponsoring today's vlog I will talk about them in a second and I have so many exciting things to show you So let's get started. I just had to do a quick cleanup because our house is constantly full of baby things basically why i wanted to vlog is to show y'all this beauty i posted about it on my instagram um so y'all should definitely follow me on there i know i used to be a slacker with instagram but i've been trying to post a lot now got the primrose mirror y'all it was 30 percent off on black friday and i just had to do it this is its temporary spot and i will explain to y'all why basically i think i might show y'all the garage today actually so i ended up getting a new coffee table and i haven't posted said about this anywhere because I am kind of unsure and I'm trying to whisper because my husband loves it but I don't don't know if it goes please give your honest thoughts I like the color I like the way the drawers look with the cane I think it's very cute but for some reason I don't love it with our couch I don't know if it's too big too tall I don't know what it is so please honest thoughts and opinions also i kind of have to like switch around what's on top so here's our current living room situation you know not ideal very cluttered um we just painted the outside of our house and we painted it alabaster white with black trim and i think i'm going to ask the painters for a little bit of alabaster to paint the fireplace because the gray just throws me off but there's not a single gray thing in our house except for this and those ugly cabinets and it just doesn't go so i'm gonna paint it and i want to find a way to hide the cable so if anyone has any suggestions let me know but you see i don't hate the coffee table i think it's very cute um but what is it what like something about it is throwing me off please leave suggestions okay so it is 1 30 and i literally could not feel like cooking less today which is why i am so glad today's video is sponsored by factor they are a meal delivery service and i actually filmed earlier this week when i got all my meals in we do the six meal plan and i showed all the meals that i got this is my last one of the week so let me show you all the meals that we got this week okay so i wanted to show y'all all the meals i got from factor because we're so busy with the holidays and just y'all cooking is not my priority right now so i got the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken oh my god this sounds incredible and i love how they separate each like thing like the protein on the side this one comes with spicy cilantro cauliflower rice my husband's gonna love that i got the roasted garlic chicken this is one of my favorites it comes with sour cream and onion mashed potatoes it's so good then the peruvian shrimp bowl with red pepper cauliflower grits and roasted broccoli oh my god the chorizo and purple potato bowl with mexican style zucchini squash sounds so good ricotta meatballs with zucchini noodles and roasted broccoli and the chicken piccata with cauliflower mash and roasted broccoli lots of cauliflower which is my freaking favorite i love how low carb it is and low cal so i love factor they make really really tasty meals that are ready in like three minutes which is amazing for me y'all know i'm busy i'm a mom i work from home i have so many things going on especially this crazy crazy month so i'm so happy i can open my fridge get one of these and in three minutes i have a delicious healthy and well-balanced meal rather than like heading out and picking up like a burger and fries factor really helps me stick to my fitness and my weight loss goals so i'll go ahead and link factor down below if you haven't tried it i remember posting about this on my instagram story a few weeks ago and so many people were either dying to try or so many people were already subscribed to get factor meals delivered which is so exciting actually one of our like couple friends they are subscribed to factor and they love it as much as we do so definitely check them out if you haven't already and thank you so much to factor for number one making my life so much easier and number two for working with me in today's video like i said the link will be down below and i also have a discount code that i'll put on the screen so definitely check them out i'm gonna go heat up my roasted garlic chicken this is one of my favorites anyway i'm gonna heat this up and then i'll catch up with you all after okay that was actually amazing but now i want to show you guys a little saga this is dining room struggle for the past i don't even know month and a half let me just show you everything that's been going on and then i'll show you guys the current 
final result so if you watch my vlogs this is probably not very surprising but i decided i no longer like these chairs i don't know they're too dark they're not really my aesthetic so i got new ones this is the before okay so here are the chairs there's a few things that i'm not super obsessed with i think the color of the chairs is like a little bit off to what it was online i'll put a picture on the screen and then i don't know if it's picking up on camera a little more glossy and almost like plastic feeling that i would want them to be for the price i don't know i don't know if i'm convinced so this is what we landed on <laughs> And y'all, I really, really like these chairs. I am so happy with them. I ended up putting these candlesticks right here, just like as a little like table center piece thing. But I don't know if I'm gonna keep them there. These are actually from Amazon and y'all, they're like actually great quality. And I got the little tree ones from Crate and Barrel. I'll link them. And then we have the anthropology mirror, the smaller size right here. I am and will be getting a new um, cabinet situation i just can't decide here the new light fixture that is extremely bright i just ordered different light bulbs because y'all it is literally like a ring light i don't know if this looks good so i just have it there for now i have a question actually should we leave the table like this or should we switch it and put it like vertically and then move the buffet to over here what do y'all think would look best um i would love some advice and options and opinions also which kind of rug do y'all think will look better and lastly before i show y'all the garage i want to show you my office because it's been just a struggle okay so real quick before i get into it i'm going to show you what the office used to look like before i had this psychotic breakdown and i switch everything around okay so i haven't shown you all my office in a minute one day like postpartum i went a little crazy and i just decided to move everything around i don't love it let's just say that so let me just show you and then you guys can give me your very honest thoughts don't love it don't love how it looks i feel like it's really in the middle aesthetically doesn't look great and then over here i definitely showed you all this already um we have these two shelves from ikea that i really like but yeah we have the cloud chair right now i just have things on top because i'm allowed to film over here we have this mirror once again i don't love how it looks it looks kind of like off-centered which it is off-centered so that is what it looked like i just feel like the layout was kind of weird the one day i literally just picked everything up asked my husband to move the shelves and just move this that being said i did get a new desk so just let's ignore the desk and let's ignore the canvases because they are off center i need some advice as per usual so the christmas tree will eventually be gone so let's ignore this but it's truly one of my favorite parts of my entire house right now like the freaking ornaments that i chose not to like toot my own horn but are so me i digress that was a tangent that i shouldn't be getting on right now got a new desk so let's ignore the desk do we like this setup because before the shelves were on this wall and i was thinking well maybe i'll just leave them on this wall and then just put the desk right here but then i didn't know what to do with this chair the chair is really what's throwing me off so i got this mirror before getting an anthropology one please don't yell at me right now i am aware of the excessiveness my husband says our house looks like a fun house and i'm starting to agree so gotta get rid of one mirror at least but that's not the point got this mirror so i thought i would put the shelves like side by side on the mirror by the mirror english and um just put the desk here i don't know if i'm gonna do that because then this thing will block one of the shelves and i've tried moving this around to so many different corners and situations and stuff so we might have to move this from my office which sucks because i love this chair did move the canvas i haven't hung it yet because like i said i am not like set on anything and then i got these baskets that are going to be for our garage situation but just for now i have them here let me know what you think about the office thing should i move them back what do you think let me know what you think about everything let me go show you the garage and let you guys know kind of like all our plans for it and then we will discuss okay the first thing i'm gonna say is please don't judge me and us because my husband and i clearly have too much crap and that's like my number one goal for next year is to reduce the amount of things we have just in general like i will never be like a minimalist by any means but just like get rid of things that we literally do not use but anyway don't judge what you're about to see don't yes i am very aware we have a lot of 
just crap that we will be getting rid of um my husband just brought like a bunch of like vintage furniture like that huge desk thing we have like a couch and we need to get rid of like a bunch of stuff so this is our current back porch situation which is terrible but we had to get everything out of the garage and literally none of this is going back in so that's why i'm saying like we definitely need to come up with a plan for this amount of stuff okay so i'm actually not gonna show the outside of our house this is like as much as i'm i feel comfortable showing because you know privacy reasons but we ended up painting our house i know this is sherwin william alabaster i don't know what this is um i'll try to ask my husband but i'm just so happy that we no longer have a gray house so happy um i guess i can show you the brick so basically like half of our house is brick the other half was just like a an ugly gray and this just looks a hundred times better you just have to take my word for it okay so they just started working on it this week so, oh my god, this looks terrible. Um, you just have to trust me that this looked disgusting. Like, it was so bad. It was so old. There's no insulation. It just looked 10 times worse. He took out the door in the back because that didn't work. The garage door obviously filled it. This is going to be like, like sliding glass doors, but they don't slide. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, obviously, he's going to add insulation, all that good stuff, and it's just going to be white. And we are going to add some vinyl flooring. So initially, our plan before we had a baby was just to turn this into a gym. But what we decided to do was to do kind of like a play area for olivia so like a lot of like baby stuff will be here like the swings and you know the little can't think of the word in english but like el corral and all that and then i'm also going to put our bike that we already have our stationary bike and we're going to get a treadmill treadmill mm, english and it's going to be kind of like a gym slash play room that way we can or like mostly i can work out while watching her play probably bring the cloud chair here um just some baskets for storage just all that good stuff make it really cute that being said like i want to keep it very minimal what we're currently waiting on is actually a few things we need center point to come remove the gas line because it can't start on anything before that is removed they're gonna put it on the side and then just so you'll have like a better idea this is like our backyard it's extremely big um we have a meeting with a like an interior designer architect to come up with an actual like layout for this but what we talked about with the contractors is let me show you from over here basically my dream is to have living room and bedroom with high ceilings and that is just not happening in our house right now oh here you can see the ugly colors that our house used to be anyway so they're going to start it from up there um, and build up that's what the contractor said they can do and we are going to build up until probably around here where that door starts that's where the house addition is going to end and then another thing is in january they're coming to remove these trees and you might be thinking philo trees are wonderful why would you do that actually you can see that branch is literally about to fall so that is extremely sketchy anyway um they are rotting they are literally super dangerous if you're a tree lover um as much as i would want to keep these they are extremely dangerous for many many reasons and one of those reasons is that they literally can fall on the dogs on me on olivia on anyone that's like walking around at any moment and that is super sketchy so there's the other one so we're removing these two and yes everything is a mess right now please excuse but that's what they're doing so they'll they're pulling the house all the way here and so first we're going to add our master bedroom and bath and then we will add the living room and all that good stuff we need to knock down this wall they'll either just bring the whole thing down or just cut up an opening to connect the house i don't know i'm not explaining myself correctly but hopefully y'all are getting it once we have the plans i'll show you but that is what's happening in life right now hello currently straight up struggling however i was doing an unboxing for olivia so i thought i would include y'all because i just got like the biggest dh gate package ever there's like so many things in here 
I cannot wait to do a video, but I thought I would do a little unboxing, kind of like first impression type situation. Also, I ordered like 10 things and I'm really amused that she was able to fit everything in here. This is from one of my favorite sellers. Also, I've never looked worse. I'm aware. I'm super aware. But my baby has been sick and now I'm sick, so fun times but this is not sponsored she didn't send me this like out of the goodness of her heart i paid for it but let's see olivia is very interested i think this is a bag yep oh i don't know if i like this so there's this one i mean to be perfectly honest like the gold is so yellow Ooh. okay for one for one then Ooh, she is cute oh my god ah, you see you see that's what i knew i shouldn't have ordered gucci dupes she's like the louis vuitton dupes queen oh this is the cutest bag ever super freaking cute i'll take pictures like sometime this week and put them on my like to know it you want to see the wallets Okay, I never keep this packaging. I think it's just unnecessary. Ooh, nice. Oh my god, this feels so nice. We got the pink on the inside. Yep. Never disappoints with Louis Vuitton. Ugh, I'm obsessed, even though I do not need any more wallets. Olivia knows that. This is a pair of boots, and this is how they came. I think that's what this bag is for. But like I said, I don't really care about any of the packaging. Okay. Am I gonna keep these? Props not. So they'd be cuter. They're not bad. Um, they're a little longer than I expected. Um, like taller. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I have to try them on with the outfit that I had in mind. But these had no like picture reviews. I just got them because I like trust her as a seller. But they're not bad. We'll see. Also, I am wearing my husband's shirt in case anyone's wondering where my outfit is from. Because it's so cute. You got matches, I'm not showing you things. I'll show you. Okay, we're done with the unboxing. I have to get Olivia. Olivia, I saw the H gate hater. Tell them. I don't like the H gate. I only want a real designer, mom. I'm kidding. But I do get some interesting comments. Some very interesting comments. I look. So ugly, couldn't look worse. So let's just stare at Olivia and my four month old baby. How dare you be four months old? Okay, I think she's sleepy, bye. Okay, so we're back where we started and I was going to do a whole like Q and A thing in this vlog, but then I realized it was gonna be extremely long. So I'm just going to do a little Q and A in, or not a little Q and A, I'm gonna do like a whole Q and A in a separate video. So yeah, that is everything for today's vlog. Those are all the updates that I haven't shared with y'all yet, but hopefully like I'm excited to actually get into like a vlogging routine like we did last year where I was posting like one vlog once a week. Can't promise it won't be messy, but you know, at least bolt. At least it'll be a vlog so follow me on instagram if you haven't already i've been trying to post quite a bit on there and just like more real-time stories and things like that but i'm excited to share this journey with y'all finally um because y'all know if you've been watching my videos since last year it's something i really wanted to do so cannot wait to show you i cannot wait to share all that good stuff subscribe if you haven't already and thank you guys for watching and i really really hope you guys are having an amazing holiday season thank you to factor for working with me again i will go ahead and like i said link factor down below and put my discount code and all that good stuff and yeah that's everything I have to say. I'll talk to you guys very soon in my next vlog.